I think the fans have probably, we probably have to thank them a lot for keeping the show in the reruns, keeping it alive. Um, and I don't know if there are new generations of fans or if now the fans were the fans when they were little kids or if people were in jail watching Dark Shadows and now they're out of jail. I don't know who the fans are. We had actually somebody like Tallulah Bankhead, I think, was a fan and she used to watch. I guess Dark Shadows, after Jonathan Frid came on the show, there was, I think, a whole new level of fandom. Um, and there were people would hang out outside the studio. Um, and then I realized that Dark Shadows was really big when I was working in another show. Um, it was a special called Certain Honorable Men, and I was working with Peter Fonda. And he and I went out for lunch one day. We walked down the street, and he told me that people were recognizing me, not him, which that seemed crazy, but I guess that's uh, the power of television and a lot of millions of people having television in their apartments as opposed to going to the movies. And then when we got our picture on bubblegum cards, that was, that was a very important moment. I was very proud of that. There were two ways to get out of the studio. There was a front door and a back door, and there were times we would go out the back door because you were tired at the end of the day, you wanted to go home. Um, but then, of course, the kids discovered about the back door. Um, so that was, but I, I can't remember how, we got through it, you know, we got, it, it wasn't so terrible. Except one time somebody tried to pull out my hair on the street. She wanted some, some hairs to take home. That wasn't, didn't appreciate that too much. It's funny that I went into acting at all because I never particularly liked fame. Um, I guess I'm very, I'm an introvert. And I, when I was acting on stage, what I loved is when you could hear a pin drop when you were acting and people were really paying attention. But the curtain call was always a source of embarrassment to me. And I think the same thing with fans is that you're not your character anymore. You're not acting. So who are you? They see you as the character that you're playing and you're in this kind of limbo land. And I have probably took it all too seriously and just was kind of psyched out by it. I guess after my son was born, maybe it was a, it was getting towards the end of the show, and I think Leela Swift called me up and asked me if I would come back on the show because we we were pretty friendly and I, maybe she was delegated. I, I don't know why. Anyway, I, I said I would might consider it if Victoria could change her character, if she could get possessed or be bad, or because there just wasn't anything to act really. It wasn't it wasn't a lot of fun. I thought everybody else was having a great time, being you know whatever strange character they were being. Victoria was always the same. Um, although I think even if that had happened, as I said, I was just you know so besotted with being a mother. Um, that I don't think I probably would have, have gone back on. And I guess it never was an issue because Victoria, I can understand now that Victoria had to stay the goody-goody because she had to, kind of the viewer had to identify with her. She was a little bit the outsider like the viewer was. Um, she didn't know what was going on. Um, so that I, I think it probably served a, a purpose in the, in the plot line to have somebody like that. Well, I think when, when we did Dark Shadows, I, I don't think there was any really cult television back then, so I don't, it never occurred uh, that this, I don't think there was really videotape. There was no home video. There were all these things that didn't exist. And so we kind of assumed that we did our show and that was it. And God knows what happened to the tape afterwards. Maybe it got used again. And many, many years later, when I was working at the um, Museum of Television and Radio, it was, you know, when people were really preserving all of these things and they became important because they were sort of social documents, whether it was just to the hairdos of the time, but also to attitudes. Um, it, you realize the, the importance of all of this. And, and then the followings and the reruns and the Nickelodeons and the whatever, you know, that people wanted to see these things again. Um, and uh, I guess there were, you know, things that I liked. We didn't have a TV when I was a kid, but as an early, I'd love to see Route 66 again if I could. I don't know whether I would go to a convention, but I would like to see those episodes again. I wanted to be a vampire very badly. Anything, a vampire, a witch, a, um, whatever, anything like that. Um, 
not um, not constantly the victim. Well, and I'm not necessarily to hurt anybody, but just to have that, um, you know, to have that kind of power. And it's and it was also a chance, you know, a chance to act because um, it was it was a lot of memorization and not a whole lot of acting um, for Victoria. So I was very sorry that I, even though I was bitten, uh, I never got to be a vampire. <laughs>